Greetings, salutations, respect, and love. I am Scott. You are in the Prague Corner, and today we're continuing our journey into my vinyl collection. Today, if you notice, big old gap in the letter B. I've got about a hundred. Uh, so we're going to get ripping through these, but first I just want to say, hey, if there's any holes in my collection that you detect that you want to help a brother out with, feel free, man. Uh, donations are accepted. So yeah, I was really, uh, really surprised at how many people were calling me to task about what albums I did not have in the letter A. Uh, no ACDC. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them. No Arion. Anyway, on the on to the Bs. Here we go. Uh, I'm starting out with Babe Ruth. Their first album. It's got the Roger Dean cover. I love it. And their second album. Uh, not quite as good. This one's called Amar Caballero. It's all right. It's decent. Uh, next up, from America, uh, Florida prog band. Yeah, it's Babylon. A great example of 70s Ameriprog. Absolutely great record. Next up from Italy, Obasio della Medusa. Their latest, Amia. One of my favorite albums of 2023. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Yeah, my wife is allowed to, you know, purchase vinyl too. And uh, yeah, so there's a few things in here that my wife wanted. <laughs> How about a Backstreet Boys picture disc? Oh, sure, why not? And follow that up with the Backstreet Boys Christmas album. Oh, sure, absolutely. I don't care. Whatever, man, I love vinyl. Okay, next up, punk band from D.C., <laughs> Bad Brains, Rock for Light, just an amazing record produced by Rick Ocasek. I don't know which side's better to show. I got glare no matter what I'm doing. Next up, a uh, band that decided to do a live album as their first album. It's One Live Badger. Yeah, Tony K's band. Produced by John Anderson. Next up, we're going to Banco Del Maturo Sacoso, their first album. From 1972, just amazing. Their second album was even better. Darwin, oh yeah, just amazing. Trying to keep some semblance of order as I'm doing this because otherwise I'm going to be in trouble. Their third album, Io Sono Nato Libero, so good. Then there's a few in the middle I need to get, but I've got their two latest ones. Uh, their comeback albums on Inside Out. Got Trans Siberiana. Love this thing. Love it, love it, love it. So good. But the new one's even better. Orlando, man. Le Forme Delamour. Oh, so good. Oh, Bonco, I love you so much. Next up, an indie band called Band of Horses. Their first album, and this is the one that's got that incredible song, Funeral. One of the best songs ever. I love it. The Funeral. Next up, also from Italy, Il Balletto de Bronzo. Ease. Just a scary, cool album. Just amazing. Next up, yeah, the obligatory Tony Banks solo album. Curious Feeling. Actually a good album. Don't mind it at all. Here's a band I need more of. I only got three of their albums. I definitely need to get more. Uh, Barkley, James Harvest, Gone to Earth. Uh... Time Honored Ghosts and Octoberon. Three great albums, three great album covers. I need more Barkley James Harvest in my life. I do. Absolutely, I do. Next up from Canada, another one of my well, another one of my wife's favorite bands is the Bare Naked Ladies. This one here is Gordon. I think that was their second album. Okay, from Italy, Luciano Basso and Vosi. Oh, man, I love this album. It's so good, man. If you wished Emerson, Lake, and Palmer was instrumental, there you go. Next up, uh, another band. I got exactly three albums from. I need to get the rest of them because I am a big fan of Bebop Deluxe. There's Sunburst Finish, my favorite album from them. Uh, Drastic Plastic. Love Bill Nelson. And finally, I've got uh, Modern Music. I love all three of these albums. I need to get all the rest of them, man. I love it so much. Okay, next. 
band that put two albums out and I love them both. It's Adrian Ballou and the Bears. Oh, that first Bears album, man. I love it. It's so amazing. Just so great. And then they followed it up with an album almost as good, Rise and Shine. Both these albums are absolutely phenomenal. I love them. You need them. All right, next we're going with uh, some white rappers. Yeah, I got uh, the first Beastie Boys album. Sure, why not? License to ill. I like them. Next up, a uh, power pop band. Oh, Paul Collins Beat. I love this album, man. I love this. Um, 1979 was such a great year for Power Pop. And this might have been the best of all the Power Pop uh, albums. Rock and Roll Girl, Different Kind of Girl, uh, You Won't Be Happy, Don't Wait Up For Me. Uh, yeah, just amazing. I love every song on that album. Just great. Uh, next up, I got a few albums from this little band from Liverpool. I need more. But I've got uh, Meet the Beatles. I've got a uh, rubber soul. I've got revolver. I've got Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. I've got the Magical Mystery Tour. I've got Yellow Submarine. I've got, of course, the Great White Album. Uh, Abbey Road. And last but not least, Let It Be. I love the Beatles. Yes, I do. Who does it? Idiots. That's who. Uh, next up, alphabetically, is the Bee Gees. I have no idea why this is in my collection. It's not even all of them, right? It's just two of them. Cucumber Castle. I guess it's a concept album or something. Uh, next up, a band from Canada that I absolutely adore. I should be doing, uh, you know, the uh, best bands out of Canada episode eventually. And this band will definitely be part of it. It's the Besner Lakes. Uh, I love these guys, man. If you like Pink Floyd, if you like the Beach Boys, uh, kind of smash them together. You get the Besner Lakes. This is uh, the Besner Lakes are the Dark Horse. It's got my favorite song by them on here, And You Lied to Me. They followed that up with uh, the Besner Lakes are the Roaring Night. And then I've also got uh, Until in Excess, Imperceptible UFO, the Besner Lakes. Just amazing. I love them. Next up, how about a little Justin Bieber? Yeah, you got to have some Bieber in your life. Justice, actually not a bad album. Don't mind it at all. Next up, a uh, band that I love out of Scotland called Biffy Clyro. And I need to get all theirs because I am a huge fan. I've got Only Revolutions. Uh, which was actually their fifth album. <laughs> and then they followed that up with uh, Opposites. It's a double album, so it came in two separate sleeves. It was supposed to be two separate albums, actually, but they decided to release it as one. Just amazing. And then A Celebration of Endings. And then they actually did what they should have done on Opposites and actually released them as two separate albums. And here's the follow-up. Uh, the Myth of the Happily Ever After. Oh, oh, man, Biffy Clyro. So great. So great. I love them. Next up, The Big Boys. Oh, yeah. Such an amazing band. A punk rock band that wasn't afraid to funk it up to. Just amazing. All right, let's talk about Big Big Train. I've got The Underfall Yard. I've got English Electric Part 1. I've got English Electric Part 2. I've got uh, my favorite, Folklore. Oh, oh, man, I love Folklore so much. Uh, that was followed up by Grimm's Pound. Another great album. Uh, then kind of a stopgap album, The Second Brightest Star. I have no idea why they released this, but there's some good material on it. It's decent. Oh, but then Grand Tour. Oh, 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 man. Oh, I love this album so much. So good. So good. Then Common Ground. And then the last one with David Longden. Welcome to the Planet. And then they put out the live album. That had, uh, well, new, re newly recorded versions of old songs in one live track with the new lead singer and uh, Ingenious Devices. And the brand new one, The Likes of Us. 
Honestly, it's the best thing I've heard in 2024. We're only in June, so somebody might uh, somebody might come and take their crown, but right now that's my favorite album of the year. How about Big Lieto, Perla Inferno? Oh, yeah. What a cool band, man. A hard charge and hard rock prog band from the 70s from Italy. Just dynamite. I love it. Fantastic album. Uh, if you noticed in the A's, I didn't have any Astra, but I do have Birth. Their debut album, Born. Two guys from Astra in this band. What a fantastic debut album, man. I hope we get a second album from these guys real, real soon, because this album's great. Next up, a little band from South London that's got two, well, two studio albums out. They put out a live album. Um, they lost their lead singer, so we're talking about Black Country, New Road. Their incredible debut. So good. Ridiculously good. And then they followed it up with Ants from up there. Mm. Mm. It doesn't get a whole lot better than those two albums. No, it does not. And then we're talking about uh, punk rock and one of the most seminal punk rock albums of all time. It's the first Black Flag album, Damaged, on SST. Uh, oh, so good. We're going to have a TV party tonight. All right. Next up, it's another black band, only this time it's Black Midi. And we got uh, Schlegenheim, their debut. These guys are amazing. Their second album, Cavalcade. And the latest one, Hellfire. Oh, man, I love Black Midi so much. They're just amazing. Okay, we're going to do another black band here. <laughs> man, I got to get cooking. I got a long way to go still. <laughs> How about Black Sabbath? Yeah, that's the debut album. And then, of course, Paranoid. The third album, Master of Reality. Probably my favorite Sabbath album, Sabbath Volume 4. Just have a soft spot for those cocaine-driven albums. I don't know why. The albums bands don't even remember recording always seem to turn out to be the coolest ones. And their fifth album, uh, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. I really need Technical Ecstasy. I really need uh, Never Say Die. I definitely need the two Ronnie James Dio ones. Oh, how about Sabotage? Yeah, let's throw that in too. So yeah, I got the Mighty Sixth. The first six. Okay, another Black. Only this time it's Frank Black. His debut album. Uh, Los Angeles. Good album. But man, he followed it up with an absolute stone cold masterpiece, man. Teenager of the Year. <sighs> Lyle Workman's all over this album. Just such a dynamite record. I love it. And then I've got this thing here. Frank Black, Black Francis. I don't even know what this is. I haven't listened to it. Uh, I guess it's like demos. Frank Black demos, but whatever. He's awesome. How about Blind Faith? Their debut album. Yeah, I gotta have that. Man, I'm running out of room here. This is getting crazy. Oh, yeah. How about uh, Blanco Mentale? Pow. I guess that means grass, kind of a hippie album, but man, I love me some Italian prog, and this is a dynamite album. I've been told that if I spoke Italian, I wouldn't care for the lyrics much, but they sound great in Italian to me, so whatever. Uh, here's a band I don't really talk much about, but I really need to, because I love them. The band is Blonde Redhead, man. It's a Japanese girl and two Italian brothers. Oh, man, this is their second. I need to get their first album. They were a four-piece. They had a second Japanese girl on their first album. They jettisoned her, and now it's just a three-piece. And uh, this is their second album, uh, La Mia Vita Violenta. Amazing. Their third album, Fate Can Be Just As Real. Incredible. In an expression of the inexpressible. Oh. Oh, oh, so good. I'm getting chills thinking about the music on these records. Melody of uh, Certain Damaged Lemons. Probably their biggest album. My favorite album by them is Misery is a Butterfly. It's so weird and sepia tone and bizarre. I just love it. <clears throat> then 23. They've got three albums since, but I don't have them. I need them. How about some Blood Ceremony, kids? Oh, yeah. Canadian band. Love them. She's amazing. Great singer. Okay, Blood, Sweat, and Tears, second album. Gotta have that. I should probably have that first one, the Al Cooper album, but I don't. <coughs> okay. 
Well, we did some blacks. How about some blue? As in Blue Oyster Cult, the first album. Uh, Tyranny Mutations. Secret Treaties. Probably my favorite. First thing I heard by them was actually this live album, On Your Feet or On Your Knees, and it blew me away, and I went ahead and bought the first three albums, and then uh, this one came out and blew them up with that big old, uh, you know, Don't Fear the Reaper hit. Good song, good album. Love Blue Oyster Cult, they're dynamite. Next up, how about a little band out of Boston? Their first album, an absolute stone cold classic. Nothing else needs to be said about it because it's perfect. Their second album, not so much. About half of this album's great, and the other half, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bow Wow Wow, Last of the Mohicans, I Want Candy. I love that sound, that Malcolm McLaren tribal sound, man. It's awesome. I got a little bit of Bowie. I need more. So if anybody's got some extra Bowie vinyl they want to send my way, I've got Ziggy. Uh, let's see what else I got from Bowie. I got Low. I've got... Heroes, and I've got Lodger, and I've got Scary Monsters and Super Creeps. How about the best of bread? Sure, why not? I love bread, man. I don't like admitting it, but I absolutely adore them. Okay, straight out of Dayton, Ohio, it's Kim Deal and the Breeders. Last Splash, their second album. The one that made them big old superstars with that hit single cannonball. All right. Back to Canada we go. And it's the broken social scene. Their second album that came out in 2002 was called You Forgot It in People. And it's one of the best albums I've ever heard in my entire life. It's amazing. They followed it up with an album almost as good. The self-titled Broken Social Scene. Amazing. 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 My dad was a big old Dave Brubeck fan, so he gave me some of his uh, Brubeck vinyl last time I was in Florida, of course. The great immortal timeout. Uh, 1975, The Duets, Dave Brubeck and Paul Desmond. Uh, this is cool. Dave Brubeck Quartet Angel Eyes. This was purchased at Kmart. <laughs> Look at that, $2.98. Then I've got Dave Brubeck uh, plays Disney. All right. How about some Bill Bruford, you ask? Well, I got Feels Good to Me. And One of a Kind. I need a Gradually Going Tornado. I definitely need that. Okay, we got a few more. We're doing good, we're doing good. Uh, these two were gifted to me by... Uh, uh, my good buddy, Anders Bows. Uh, this is his second album. This is The Witches of Finnmark, Volume 2. Great album cover. Very cool. It's kind of like uh, Norway's answer to Mike Oldfield. Just amazing. And then he sent me this one, The Edinburgh Suite. Both these albums are dynamite. Okay, we're almost done. How about The Age of Plastic from The Buggles? Yeah, got to give The Buggles their due. Okay, Built to Spill, a band I absolutely adore. I've got Perfect from now on. Mm. This is their major label debut. So they introduced themselves to the world by putting out their prog album. Thumbs up! Next up is a Keep It Like a Secret. Probably my favorite Built to Spill album. Every song on here is just absolutely perfect in every single way. They follow that up with Ancient Melodies of the Future. This is kind of their Mellotron album. A lot of Mellotron on this. Maybe not quite as good as the previous two, but I still like it. Uh, here's Built to Spill playing the songs of Daniel Johnston. How cool is that? Uh, if you don't know Daniel Johnston, you should. And here's a Built to Spill doing homage to him and some of his songs. Very cool. Uh, two more. Uh, 16 Stone from Bush. Yeah, everything's zen, man. Uh, little Things Come Down. Glycerine, every song on here is dynamite. The second album wasn't quite as good, but I really like this one. And finally, I just have one Kate Bush album, and of course it's Hounds of Love. I need all the rest of them, so you know, don't 
Don't be too harsh on me for the things not in my collection. I'm a poor guy, man. You know, I'm a nine to five working stiff, you know, working paycheck to paycheck. So I can't afford everything. So if you want to hook a brother up, man, you know what to do. It's P.O. Box 1015 Belfountain, Ohio. Anyway, guys, I love you. We're going to keep doing this. We'll do C next week. And we'll just maybe do like one a week uh, and get through the record collection. It is a little bit embarrassing sometimes when there's big giant holes, you know, bands I have nothing by in my collection. So, you know, if you want to help me out, please do. Anyway, I love you guys. Peace in the Middle East. Free Tibetan God save the king. Save King Chucky. Oh, that boy could use your saving. Bring him to America. We can take care of that cancer for him. Yes, we can. We can lay hands on him. We'll lay the man's on And then we got our prayer warriors standing by. They're working 24-7. And we're going to do spells and incantations. And then we're drinking poison. Oh, and then we're going to break out them rattlesnakes. Oh, the snakes. Oh, the snakes will be dancing and we'll be just fine. And King Chucky will be in remission. And the house of Windsor will rise again. I'll see you punks tomorrow. Peace.